hello <clears throat> once well, welcome back to my channel this is on fire for christ where we talk about the things that are happening in our Ghanaian christian circles and in africa in the world beyond please if you are here for the first time kindly go ahead subscribe to my channel i drop christian videos all the time the intention is to get you built up in the things of god uh, you will not be tossed to and fro by the winds of doctrine that are flowing about in the world right now and in this video we see that um um, this charlatan of a woman um, called um, Nana Grada, who is trending in the news. I saw it yesterday on Twitter when she was trending number one because of some swindling and fraud that she was engaged in. Um, there's a video of this Nana Grada and um, a number of people doing videos that they have been duped and their monies have been taken away from them. And... Um, because of that, they, they, they are really in distress. Mm -hmm. One month be our year or night. And they are not even so, and I can't say, I bet on the tea, Sika, and the amount of beer or person a day, or did ya. And they answer your tea, and not bet, no, am I a buy? And they are not a buy and a follower, and a chassis. So, I saw Tia one million, who been your scack is here. Wow. Wow, <laughs> And the mood is kind of got to a free bone, you know. Yeah, no one is there. What is kind of no one, no, no. And the and what you're crying was, you know, not just a scar, scar, no, no, bed, no, be far. That's what the night dream, a bit, the night dream, a bit. When the paper do a sign, I walk you, I walk you, my dis, I know. The paper five thousand. And I beg you, I saw it. And you know, you many people do not move to I saw it then, my mercy day. I'm my sick and you know, I didn't, you know, I feel. I'm a. Yeah, a lot of fair clay to be called be every by a flower. I had the ammo, my I had it. And it's a making a climb higher for better more. Okay, Matthew. People claim to have come from far and near because um, Nana Grada did a video, and the video she promised the people that if you bring um, as much money, she was going to double it or triple it or give you an amount that was bigger than whatever you were bringing to her. and she claims to be a pastor now and so this or uh, all these things happen to be in the church and so people brought these offerings or whatever it is they brought it to the church and what happened was that she took the monies from them and she didn't give them what she promised to give them and so according to the news that is trending now um, she has been arrested by the ghana police by you want to ask yourself what do people see before they believe these things how does somebody who was into fetishism somebody who posed as a fetish priest or priestess and was in the same space swindling people defrauding people taking people's money away from them using bodyguards doing fetishism calling the names of idols and representing those people how then does somebody like this just within a twinkle turns herself around and tells you she is an evangelist and you are not surprised because many people start following her because of what she claims i know there are people who use her to entertain themselves but likewise you see in this video that there are many other people who have believed the things we have encouraged and these things have, have led the people into what they are going through now and so you ask yourself why should people fall for these things and the point is that today there are many people who have itchy ears i can agree that there are a number of people who would have come from far and near 
and they came because they are greedy in themselves because they wanted to make money that they have not worked for they heard her making an advert or trying to make people aware that she was going to double people's money and out of their greed they came champion ministry international reverend dr mama pa asore ho mama pa ti ayi 3 billion go ho se o de che asore ma won fa nko yadwuma wo tutu abubu ase bronsam nyuma ama wa de ho na wo disika ne kwa kwa yadwuma an se am won fa an se efia bai fo aya reverend dr mama pa donation prana so all nine special a wo ye no busu mi bia wi ye no ni fia da no edru so donation papa bi mama pa ti to 3 billion egu life and color o de che asore ma am on the and so somebody can say that it is justified that their monies are taken away from them but equally there are people who trust in god the people who have given their lives to christ and because they want to see the hand of god they want to see some miracle happening in their lives they think that when they come there their woes and their issues and their troubles are going to be taken away and that is what a woman like this who is a charlatan who is a false prophet who is a false shepherd who has who, who is posing as a sheep but in here it's a ravenous wolf that has dressed up like a sheep or a shepherd that has been sent to god's people and this one hasn't been sent to god's people because indeed if she has she wouldn't go on hurting people and so you ask yourself and you want to ask yourself that how do you test how do you see that indeed somebody is a true man of god a true woman of god somebody who god has called and picked to do his will and his purpose and so bible teaches us that by their fruits you shall know them it is it this is fundamental to everybody be it somebody who claims to become who have who claims to have become a christian today be it somebody who claims to be a christian leader a gospel singer somebody who represents christ in everything that they do bible makes us understand that it is always by their fruits that you will know them and so if you only take the fruits into consideration and you look at the fruits that nana grada has been passing or evangelist pa patricia the fruits that she has been displaying insulting people talking against people saying all kinds of weird stuff on tv and on radio and all kinds of social media platforms and she continues to do these things it is surprising that people see all these things and still fall for her but it is also because there are other christians that when you come and tell them that what nana grada is doing is wrong and she's not supposed to stand there and call herself an evangelist or a pastor or a christian leader they are the same christians who are going to come at you or come against you because you say these things but bible is clear that a new convert somebody who comes to christ new and fresh cannot be a christian leader and you go to 1 timothy 3 and i can go through from verse 1 which gives you the standard for every church leader or every pastor but i go to where it concerns this particular issue and it says in the verse 6 that 1 timothy 3 verse 6 and it says that he must not be a recent convert or he may become puffed up with conceit and fall into the condemnation of the devil and this is exactly what has happened to this woman called Nana Grada. That the moment she claimed to have been born again, immediately she claimed to be a Christian leader. She claimed to be a pastor. She claimed to be an evangelist. And you, there are videos of her claiming that she has been ordained in a church in Nigeria or whatever. And so these people are taking the name of Jesus Christ and are throwing the name into the mud, giving the church a bad name. And so for now you see people on social media and the comments that social media are passing are very very hurtful if you're a christian because people keep on condemning the church and keep on condemning the name of christ and this is not what christ has called us for and so this is what raises the calls where people call the governments to come in and curtail some of these churches as has been done by rwanda that you see that paul kigami has collapsed churches who don't have leaders who have been trained and have the certificates to be pastors but in this same regard you see christians who are totally against these things and say that the government should be outside the church but you ask yourself 
what is happening today in the Ghanaian church. Everything is going. Nobody can teach anybody anything. Nobody can correct anybody. And nobody can tell anybody they are wrong. And so everybody is having a field day with the name of Christ. And these things are hurting the body of Christ. And so for me, when you ask me, I'm going to tell you that be careful of the people that you claim you follow. Be careful of the people that you have given yourself to feed. Because the one who feeds you is the one who will cause you to grow. And if they feed you the wrong way, you are going to grow in the wrong way. If they feed you the right way, you are going to grow in the right way. And so whoever you follow can have an influence in your life, whether positively or negatively. And so I don't know what you think about all this hula balua about Anna Grada and what she's doing for me. I believe that there are many Christians who never take her serious. But the truth is that there are other people who take her very serious and she's leading these people to hell. And so I just want to say that if you have any view, what you think, please drop it in the comment section. Let's see what you think. But for me, I mean, I've always known that she was going to fall and there was going to be a huge disgrace coming away sooner than later. And so I'm not surprised by this at all. I hope that you are able to desist and to move away from people like this since they have no influence on your Christian life. They rather lead you astray and lead you into condemnation. Take care of yourself. I'll see you on the next one. And bye-bye.